six destructive behaviors that stop you from being yourself. In this presentation, I will teach you six behaviors that people do that limits them from being their true self. The six destructive behaviors are the following. Pleasing others. One of the most limiting behaviors you can have is trying to please others. When you please others, you completely forget your true self and allow others to dictate how you should behave, look, and even talk. This type of behavior is very destructive to the self, and it is pretty much acting. You become an actor of your life and live the life that others want you to live. Once you learn to let go of the need to please others, you start living your own life. You no longer tailor your life to the image of others, but more to what you want and who you are. By doing so, the people around you will accept you for who you are. Fear of being judged. We often stop ourselves from expressing who we are because we fear that we will not be accepted and loved for our true selves. Our fear of being judged often leads us to behave in a way that is not aligned with what our heart wants because we want to feel accepted and loved by others. To get over this fear, you have to let go of the need for approval from others. Take your time to accept yourself first, and then you can express who you are without feeling like others will judge you. Negative self-talk. It is very scary how mean we can talk to ourselves. While most of us would never express hate or say things toward our friends and families, yet we let ourselves be our biggest bully. The first step to stop negative self-talk is to be aware of it. You can start paying attention to how you treat yourself mentally. What are the thoughts that cross your mind when you look at yourself in the mirror or when you make a mistake? Try to rephrase the mean things you tell yourself to be more kind. Talk to yourself the way you would talk to your best friend. Comparing yourself to others. When you compare yourself to others, you automatically feed a belief that you should be like others. This behavior limits you from being yourself and making it acceptable to be unique. Most of us often compare ourselves to others because we have that belief that others have it better than us. This belief can transform into envy or jealousy. What if I told you that this type of behavior pushes you even more away from what you want and who you truly are? One way to avoid this destructive behavior is to start being grateful for what you have in your life and also recognize the good in you. Make a list of what you are good at, your skills and abilities. That way, it will be easier to appreciate yourself without having to compare yourself to others. Blaming others. When you blame others, you do not own your responsibility in your life. For example, if you continuously blame external factors for the experience that you live, such as, I can't find a job because they well, fill in the blank. You are giving up your powers and will to others. By doing so, you are entirely detaching yourself from your responsibility and merely becoming a pion in life. If you want to be yourself, you have to take ownership of your life. Start by being aware when you blame others for the situation you face. Then shift your mindset to solution finding and own the solution that will get you out of a tricky spot. Avoiding failures. The last destructive behavior you need to stop is your relationship with failure. Without faults, there would be no growth. Without growth, you can't be yourself. Life is meant to grow, and it is part of the process of becoming the best version of yourself. Change your perspective to see failure as an opportunity to learn and grow. That way, it will be easier for you to accept the mistakes you make and move on. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.